All right, I might be making a huge mistake here, but I'm at Burger King today to try the new, I don't know what it's called, Mushroom Swiss something melt. You saw it in the title. I don't know. It's one of their melts with Swiss and mushrooms. We're going to have that. I have not eaten food in over 24 hours, and the food I did eat within the past 48 hours, I regret wholeheartedly. So we're going to try again here. Um, I have been out of commission with stomach flu, feeling terrible. This is the first time I've had any energy and not nauseous. Except that's a lie because as soon as I got down here to come do this, I'm not feeling well again. Day three of this. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sick of it. But we're going to try eating some Burger King. I got fries falling out. Mm. Fresh Burger King fries, pretty good. They slap, as the kids might say. As they get cold, they're terrible. And you might say that's true of all French fries. Not like Burger King fries, they get bad. Of course they didn't give me napkins. They didn't give me a straw either, I had to dig into my straw stash. Cause why would you give somebody a straw to drink the drink they purchased, right? And that's just stupid. No idea where I got this green one though. That's weird. Anyways. Anyways, like I said, we're trying this new mushroom Swiss melt. And I got the cheesy tots. So, let's give these a shot. Now, am I stupid for choosing my first meal back from this distress to be Burger King? Maybe. But you know what? I miss doing videos for y'all. So let's get our stupid selfie thumbnail with these things. Um, let's start with the cheesy tots. These are returning. I, I remember being unimpressed. And I think the sign said crispy on the outside, gooey on the inside. So it's, uh, it's a tater tot and there's supposed to be cheese and potatoes in there. And it's pretty crispy on the outside. Hmm. They're admittedly better than the last time I had them. In fact, I would say they're good. Hmm. I don't remember what was wrong last time. It might have been like two years ago. I don't even know. Um, it might have been too dry, like there was no gooiness inside. But there is on this one. Yeah, not bad. I don't remember what they cost. This whole combo with the fries, drink, melt, and uh, cheesy tots was $10. That seems fair, I guess. Let's see if the burger is worth it. You got these, uh, it's a melt, so it's like toast. Toasted sourdough or something there. You got cheese. Oh, of course, please tell me. There's the mushrooms. You got mushrooms on it. And some sort of sauce. I don't. I don't know. Let's dig in. Hmm. The bread's a little overcooked. A little uh, overly toasted. But. That's not bad. Let me get some drippy, drippy cheese there. The sauce gives it a nice kick. It's drowning in Swiss cheese. This is gonna sound fat of me, but I am fat. I wish it was like the huge Whopper patties and not the Whopper Junior patties. I think that would add something. Yeah, um, what about the mushrooms themselves? I mean, they're like crappy canned mushroom grade mushrooms, but I like those, if I'm being honest with you. 
you get them on a pizza sometimes when they're not putting too much effort into the pizza. I like that. This actually works. This is pretty good. Is it as good as the burger I was going to get instead just because I was hungry? No. That was going to be Freddy's. I love Freddy's. I love Freddy's so much. Ooh, I think I needed this. I think I was like starving. Because I'm starting to feel better. I, uh, I've spent the past two days on the couch, in pain, sleep on, sleep off, run to bathroom, come back, sleep, bathroom, sleep, sweat, sh chills, sore, couldn't sleep at night. It's rough. I'm having a rough week. And to top it off, my IT department at work had their Christmas outing dinner the other night at this Brazilian steakhouse. Looked looked delicious. It was a nice one in Uptown Charlotte here. Couldn't go. Couldn't eat. I couldn't eat my own food. I was stuck at home, dying on the couch. I was uh, watching a new anime I'd never watched. Uh, it's not new. It's really old. It's One Piece. Um, one of the more popular ones. Getting into that. I've been binging that. But that was just yesterday because on Wednesday, I couldn't watch anything. I didn't have contacts and I just kept falling asleep, staying up. It was bad. I just had music playing the whole day. Got nerdy with that too. It was the old Daytona USA soundtrack. It's like four discs. Um, covered every version of the game ever released. <laughs> so that's what I listened to when I wasn't passed out. Ugh. Oh, this is the first time I've been able to stomach food. This is so good. If I've been learning anything about YouTube over the past like three years of me doing this, is that people want to hear you say things are good. Whether it's crappy fast food, technology, whatever, they want you to affirm that what they like is good. So when am I going to like Burger King better than if I'm starving? That's the best shot at that, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Like over on the Poppy Tech channel, I got the, the smart glasses, and I think they kind of suck, but, I mean, they're, they're, they're okay. And then people are just bashing me, like, who are you? Where's your smart glasses? They are so much better. I'm like, what the hell? You can't leave anything with a negative review, or people just go insane. People can't take criticism. I'm not even criticizing the people, I'm criticizing the crap they like. These fries are super salty. Mm. I could just keep eating these. They gave me enough of them. <laughs> uh, but what else is new? What else is... is that, that's it. That's been my life. Dying on the couch. What are these people doing over here? There's a tile shop right here. And then there's just some cars. And there's this guy doing something to this girl's car. Maybe it's both of their cars. I don't know what they're doing. Well, they've been working on it. Am I screwing something into the door? Hmm. Oh. Yeah, this is this is doing it for me. So the rest of this weekend, what else am I gonna do? I gotta edit some videos. I gotta clean. My place is a disaster. I'm still not 100%. I'm probably just going to go home and lay down after I post this, but I don't know. Hmm. 
Oh! I just remembered, I never updated you guys on the car story. Let me tell you what happened with that. So last time you saw me, I was waiting for a call back from these people to tell me what was gonna happen with my, my car tires, right? If you missed that video, I, uh, I'll give you a quick rundown here. Got a flat tire back in August when I was down in South Carolina. Um, my car is all wheel drive. So typically when you, if you get a flat tire and you, if you have to replace the tire, you typically have to replace like one other one, like the matching one. So if you lose one of the fronts, you, you have to replace the other front quite often, right? With all wheel drive, if your tires are worn down enough and you lose one of them, you have to replace all four because there's a certain tread depth that they have to be within. And I had people laughing at me in the comments, but I'm, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Like, that's a thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't... I didn't design physics in all-wheel drive. And like, that's just... It's a thing. Look it up. Um, dumbasses, I swear. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So I replaced all four tires. I saw the one that was flat that I had the spare on. Had the new Continental tire, tire on it. Cool. Good. Three months later, last Friday, I'm swapping my, or not swapping anything, I'm uh, filling up my tires for there because it was really cold out, right? And I get to the last one, the Continental, and I realize, wait a second, the last one said it was a, or the last one just said Bridgestone, didn't it? And sure enough, they had not replaced that tire. I was upset. And then I looked. They all said Bridgestone, except for the, the the one. So I paid for four tires, and they only gave me one. That burger was good. Um, that hit the spot. So. I could tell these guys were going to think I was crazy, but I started calling the, the NTB National Tire and Battery, now owned by Mavis Tire, whatever. I can tell they think I'm crazy, but they're entertaining the idea, and here's the problem. They couldn't help me up here in Charlotte, because if I wanted these tires, there was only one store within hundreds of miles that had them in stock, and it was the store that I got my tires done at. Well, got my tire done at. Didn't get all four, now did I? So, even then, the guy up here in Charlotte goes, well, yeah, it says they've got four in stock there. I mean, if they still had yours, they'd, they'd have seven, you know, four plus three. I'm like, okay, this guy doesn't believe me. Um, but the next day, I finally get to talk to the manager that's there because he was off that Friday. He's like, yeah, come on down. I'll get your tires on. That's crazy that happened. I get down there, they look they're like, yeah, wow, sorry this happened, man. Um, they got me three, three new tires. And here's the thing. They did not have four in stock. The computer was wrong. They had three. You know why they had three? You know why they were the only shop that had three? Because they were my three that I paid for that they got in special order back in August. Mm. But it's over. It's over. It's over. Just like this meal's just about over. Hmm. What is this guy doing to her door? This whole time I've been here, he's been working on this door. I don't know what is going on. Oh, he's taking off the whole panel. I wonder if he's working on the audio or something. No. Mm -hmm. oh. The drink is gone. That's depressing. 
Anyways, thanks for sticking around, listening to my story, my life drama, my illness, my Burger King. Because what's better than BK? Free BK. And I can tell you a lot of other things that are better than BK, but that was pretty good. I am satisfied. Yo, remember when they put out those garbage fries that were called Satis Fries? Burger King has always been ridiculous with the fries. Because they just can't compete with McDonald's on the fry game. You know what they don't do that I appreciate? They don't give their fry... Well, if I just gave you proof that they do give their fries ridiculous names. But... McDonald's, ever since their latest, like, uh, promotion where they, it was the, they were just showing off all the, the movies and shows that McDonald's has been in. Now they call their fries World Famous Fries. If you look on the menu, if you look at any of their promotions, things come with World Famous Fries. And that's stupid. That's really stupid. I was going to say, I'd love to slap whoever came up with that, but I'm not a violent guy, and nobody deserves that. But I would like to tell them that's fucking stupid to their face. Is that wrong? I don't think that's wrong. I don't think they'd care either. They're the ones getting paid to call McDonald's fries world-famous fries. I'm just here eating food on camera on YouTube. So, who's the real winner at the end of the day? It's not me. It's... World famous fries, jackass. You know, <laughs> good for them. Good for them. Good for them. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Poppy ate. Poppy's full. I think my food's gonna stay down today, so that's nice. I experimented with McDonald's on Wednesday night because I was so hungry. I was in so much pain. I, I ate about half the meal. Had the worst heartburn of my life all night. It was it was rough. It was rough. Anyways, thanks guys. See ya.